Can you get him to commit by walking away? Hello ladies, thanks for tuning in. Before we start, please like and subscribe. And don't forget that you can book a free discovery call with me simply by checking my description box. So today I want to talk about that strategy of walking away to get him to commit. I want to talk about that and I want you to understand first of all what you mean by walking away. So is it like when he he tells you, yeah, I don't want to commit, you think, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end things so that he's gonna come back to me, chase me, and then he will commit to me. Or is it you chasing him less, but you there is still something going on and you still see your progression? Because if it's the because if it's the first scenario, you need to understand that if he tells you that he doesn't want to commit, first of all, it's not that he doesn't want to commit, it's that he doesn't want to commit with you. There is something that many women need to understand. It's like it's not because you like him that he also likes you, and it's not because you are falling for him that he's also falling for you. And if anything, if you if you feel like you are falling for him and he isn't, it's already over for you because if you have a strong feminine energy, you should fall in love first. And if you want him to commit to you easily without any stress and any anxiety on your end, he needs to fall in love first. This is also what this book that I wrote is about. In there, I teach you how to get him to commit in no time. And you are guided for the next 12 weeks. And for the next 12 weeks, I tell you what you need to do. This is the book you need if you are currently talking to someone that you like and you like to be committed to him. In there you're gonna get all the strategies that you need to make it easy for you and stress-free by working away it doesn't mean that you're gonna get commitment maybe he's gonna come back because now he has no one to talk to and no one to have sex with you see he can come back for those reasons or you can also think okay if I don't commit to her I won't have anything but then he will commit to you for the wrong reasons but again now if you are talking about working away to get him to chase you where there is some sort of attraction but you still feel well, on both ends and it's not just you know about sex because you haven't had sex you haven't had sex with him or, already but you you feel like you are starting to have some pick me tendencies then in that case yes you can slow down the pace a little bit and remove yourself a little bit and let him have his energy coming your way and this is something that i want you to understand it's not like okay I was a pick me and it's over sometimes you can do some some things that are pick me but it's not like 100 percent pick me so it can still work if you if you fix the issue and you understand what you have been doing wrong okay so what i want you to understand so like it's never okay i did this and it's pick me it, now it's over no it doesn't work like that sometimes when i do some things that are pick me but when you stop doing them and you understand why it was wrong to do them then you can start chasing you and now you can have the right the risk and now you can you know respect polarities where is fully in his masculine energy and you are fully in your feminine energy and look at what i'm doing with my hand the masculine energy comes your way and you and you are the feminine energy you just radiate and you, um, you focus your energy in yourself this is femininity but if you are looking for ways to get him to chase you after he pulls away i'm sorry but this is over because a man who is truly into you he won't pull away and he can only be into you if you have a strong feminine energy and if you are the one you know wanting him to chase you you see men are attracted by the chase okay so if he stops chasing you it means that it's over and he's chasing another woman men can't stay like that with absolutely no girl to talk to so if you don't feel his energy coming your way then it means that another woman is feeling his energy coming her way and you need to accept that he's not for you so there are reasons why he pulled away maybe it's because you were not just too hard to get but you became impossible to get you need to understand that when the chase is too long first of all when you are when the chase is getting too long and you are like no 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 it might say something maybe there are something there are some things in you that tell you that something is off and this is something that you might not even realize because you don't really know yourself enough and this is why i encourage you to work on your self-awareness and this is what we work on in my coaching program we work on self-awareness and i help you understand yourself better but yeah, if you feel like with him you were really, really hard to get to the point where it became impossible for him to win you over, then there was certainly something off about him that you didn't really know, but you still lacked knowing that his energy was into you and, and all of that. And also, when he pulls away, what it means is that he lacks someone else better and someone who is his real type and someone where he feels like not only she's hot but also she's feminine okay you need to understand that you can have a strong feminine energy doesn't mean that all men will be for you but it's okay because you only need one great guy 